Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sasmit here. So it's a short ride today, uh, within a distance of 250 kilometers. It's Belum Caves near Kanun. I thought of making a long ride, but before that I got to know this place uh, from few suggestions. So that's why I'm going to this place first. It's Belum Caves, 250 kilometers from Mabubaga. Uh, it's the Kanun way. So yeah, let's hit the road. Let's go. It's exactly 340 kilometers from here, showing 4 hours and 45 minutes. On the road, we need to get to Bhutpur first. Take right, get on to National Highway 44. I would have visited this place, Balloon Caves, earlier. It's a very neighbor to Yaganti. I travelled to Yaganti and Ahobilam but missed this. This is all because I am tired because of trekking on the day in Ahobilam. So skipped it. Drinks break. Getting back. We are in Bhutpur, it's 8 now, should take right, we need to stay on this highway up to Kannur, so straight, 105 up to Kannur. Climate is good, I'm sure video clothes will be vibrant, but I'm missing this early morning start with the headlight on, and also there's no particular night drive in our channel, let's do it soon. Beautiful view of sunrise hitting hills. Super Toll crossing Only lorries and not much traffic it's, The time is like this Green is the color tail boats now automatically Colonel 79 Wow, get out of the pure green as well we are getting on a big bridge and also we are crossing Krishna river which is beneath us. It's the third time I'm stepping on this bridge. Small road work. A half minute diversion, no worries. We need this type of brakes in the mid actually, not for us, but for our eye. It's called eye contraction. The longer you keep your eye focused, more it becomes stranded and we won't blink our eye much like we do in regular. Because of this dust accumulates in our eye, it's not at all good. Maroka Chakkachi toll gate. More one to go, I think, in a way. Not your check post. Stopping heavy vehicles only. Noise. AP transport boundary checkpoint. We are crossing Tungabhadra River Bridge now. This comes before Karnal. This bridge stands central and separates Selangana and AP from here. We entered Karnal, time is 9.30. We drove 125 km till now from the start. More 120 to go. Okay. Should drive on this town service road for a while, not the whole town. This is a bypass way. A little. We will touch the starting and end point of this town. If we drive accordingly to the destination, cuts off the town way. We have to merge with this NH44 again, the road we drove till now. Because of this bypass, we skip this highway in the town. At the town exit after 10 km, we need to slide left and ramp up on NH40. Scenic drive starts from here, cause the way will be turning after a bit. A small guard section with some nice S and N curves. 
ఇప్పుడు లిఫ్ట్ తీసుకోవాలన్నాడు నరికేలు అండి నేనే చెప్పి నేనే మర్చిపోయా బ్యూటిఫుల్ ల్యాండ్స్కేప్ రైట్ సూపర్ వెల్కమ్ టు రాయల్ సిమ్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ వే టైమ్ ఈజ్ నైన్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ వి డ్రో టూ అవర్స్ వెళ్తాం ఇట్ ఈస్ టైమ్ వి కేమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ కర్నూల్ టౌన్ ఎంటీ రోడ్ అక్కడనే ఉన్నాం అబ్బా వచ్చాడు వచ్చాడు ఏంటిరా ఇది ఇప్పుడు థర్డ్ టోల్ క్రాసింగ్ సో ఇట్స్ లాస్ట్ టోల్ నో వే థర్డ్ రోడ్ టూ వేస్ ఇన్ వన్ వే రోడ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆన్ ది అదర్ సైడ్ సో డైవర్టెడ్ కొంచెం ట్రాఫిక్ బట్ బైకర్స్ కట్ స్లో మూవింగ్ వెహికల్ ఇట్స్ టైమ్ టు లీవ్ దిస్ ఎన్హెచ్ ఫార్టీ వీ నీ టు టేక్ వైట్ అహెడ్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూ అండ్ బేత్రూమ్ చర్ల రోడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్పా బేత్రూమ్ చర్ల బన్గన్పల్లి రోడ్ ట్వంటీ కిలోమీటర్స్ స్ట్రైట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఎస్ లైట్ లెఫ్ట్ ఐ మెన్షన్ యూ అబౌట్ ఎ గాట్ సెక్ రైట్ We will drive now after crossing Vaitham Chela, the stone town. 17 km to Vaitham Chela. From the right we took uh, these signboards tell us what kind of road it is. Not, no, still not cut. We are in Vaitham Chela now, stone town. In this end is lots of stone factories and outlet stores here. రైల్వే క్రాసింగ్ ప్రభావ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ లాస్ట్ రైల్వే క్రాసింగ్ ఇన్ అవే దిస్ ఇస్ స్మాల్ విలేజ్ షాలం దిస్ ఏరియా ఇస్ కంప్లీట్లీ సరౌండ్ విత్ మినరల్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ షోయింగ్ ఇన్ మ్యాప్స్ క్లియర్లీ దట్ హిల్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ అస్ బిహైండ్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ యాగంటి బట్ నాట్ దిస్ వే ఐ కాట్ దట్ గాట్ రోడ్ ఇన్ యాగంటి బ్లాగ్ ఇట్స్ దే మై షాలం కెన్ యూ వన్ మిస్డ్ ఇట్ ట్రాఫిక్ మీటర్ డేంజర్ అయ్యి కర్వ్స్ బట్ టు బి ఫ్రాంక్ రోడ్ గ్రూప్ ఇస్ గుడ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సిమెంటెడ్ రోడ్ ఇట్స్ నైస్ రోడ్ ఇస్ కావ్డ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ టు ద హిల్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ రైట్ long pipe inside the tunnel there is a cement factory over there to the left it's a lot big actually right this is banganpally big town of betum chella time is 10:48 we have to be here within 3 hours we took 3 hours nagar bonare nabu nabu nada ah nabu nada channel name mundu ne na name ali aye aye choose here ఓకే 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 బ్రో థ్యాంక్స్ మరి దిస్ గివ్స్ టు పాజిటివిటీ ఇన్ గ్రీన్ బ్లాగ్స్ థ్యాంక్స్ బ్రో విల్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ ఇన్ మ్యాప్స్ టూ వేస్ హియర్ ఓకే రైట్ బిలం కెఫ్స్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్ షోయింగ్ ఫిఫ్టీ మినిట్స్ ఫర్ దాట్ వా check out this plain landscape it's cool here as well because of this grass over here i don't know it's like a crop i don't know this is a place called oak o w k nice name right good the weather wait for it a beauty ahead we will drive beside a lake now it's the oak reservoir showing in maps with nice curves and water drive by let's
more 12 kilometers for the caves. Reservoir canal, like all reservoirs does. This is the drive I'm talking about. Look at the color. Wow. Pure sky reflection. It's even breezy here. Very rare we'll find this type of scene. One of the best shot in our vlog. Oh, there's even an attractive hotel here in the center, well built. Here is the reservoir main gate section. Okay, this is the place called Belum. Belum Caves, it's 2 km more from here. That's why it got this name as it's in this village, this place, Belum. This is it, Belum Caves. It comes right after crossing this town, Belum. Remember it, right after Belum. Nice entryway. <sighs> it's hot outside right now. Hope I should duck up good inside because I'll be going down 150 feet below ground level now. I'm excited. Parking way. Let's park and explore. So we are here at the parking, uh, it's 244 kilometers from my home, we travel 244 exactly. At the ticket counter, this is the counter, and entrance also. I have a info that they are asking me to carry water bottles, two at least two it seems, because we will be walking for more than one and a half hour inside it seems, so I already have one, they are asking me to take one more for safety. It's okay, we are some Harita results here as well, so we'll kind of all the stuff here, so no worries. This is the let's skip. Hope this should be a nice walk, because it's the second largest caves in India. Hope the walk should be nice, let's skip, even I'm interested. and a little scared as well because no guide we should walk simple no guides this time here okay so this is the entrance the main chamber it's called the Gibber Hall Gaber Hall ships This cave is extended into three ways. Government named them as Patala Ganga, Maya Mandiram and Kotilingalu. So these are the three passages we are going to explore now. It's 31 degrees here and it even increases with the depth we go. It's completely a 1.5 km walk to and fro 3 km in total. We are going to Patala Ganga passage first. You mean I'll show you my place clear one last time. Because the white line. Okay going in. Good face shot, let's get uh, It's pitch dark in some spots and bulbs in some spot. I have to use my phone torch to show you guys because there will be no light for GoPro. 
Uh, so, torch for sure, I understand. You know, to record video under this case, you need to have torch for sure. It's good for normal eye. Eh? Even I am using torch to fill my face. Meters alert for the visitors to walk. There will be a lost a pond like thing I have seen in Google, so that's the last place for tourists. So, completely, we are not walking it completely, it's not allowed actually. This place was discovered by a British surveyor Robert Bruce Foote in 1884. Later in 1982, German archaeologists confirmed these caves are found with a constant flow of water. Thereafter, in 1988, Indian government declared this site to be protected. Now you may think, is this place habitable to humans or not? And the answer is yes. Do you know who lived here? Buddhists. Archaeologists found so many Buddhist relics inside this cave and also few remnants belonging to pre-Buddhist era. I don't know what's this place. There's nothing illegal here. I'll tell you a story. One day, German archaeologists were excavating here. George Wilson, a member from their team, found a different species called Androcoids. It's an isopod, uh, and also it's the first discovery he made. I'll show you the pond where he found it. There are 16 different pathways in this cave. Out of them, only three are accessible for tourists. Remaining are locked because it has deposits of quartz and black limestone. I don't know whether this info is live or a known fact. Daniel Gaber, a German archaeologist, actually done mapping for this cave. That's why the entrance chamber hall is named after him. Gaber Hall. Daniel Gaber. I forgot to say one thing. This complete site has been taken care of APTDC. In 2003, APTDC won the prestigious National Tourism Award, instituted by Ministry of Tourism and Culture. Good, good for them. In the earlier, this cave entrance used to be a small hole, a small passage that too appeared with the flow of water. Later, APTDC developed and widened, and that's the step entrance we came through in the start. We are getting near to our first spot, Patala Ganga. It's the edge for this passage, first passage. These are regular lights, but in colors, for the feel, looks vivid compared to white, it's nice. Staircase is damaged, don't use it. This is the one where George Wilson found that isopod of different species called androcoids. I told you earlier, right? Okay, let's get to the next passage, next spot, Maya Mandiram. So just now we visited this place, Pahatana Ganga, now let's hit here, Maya Mandiram. Oh, so, it's other way, the second way. We are hosting the second way now, let's skip. So that's the Telugu name is heard. Each and everyone should experience this walk because caves are the only places where humans can go underground without any build or dig. Easy process, right? Easy way. Temperature is getting high the deep I go. 
I can't express you from here. My breath is fast as well. It's, it's getting difficult. Oh, just check out the surroundings. It's, it's, I'm too deep. Too deep. That's our second spot. Maya Mandiru. Oh, it's for this passage. Second passage. You need to build maximum here. Get into this place. Oh boy. Sunny, don't sunny. Hey, can you feel it? Okay. I think this is the final place. You'll find all these vents over here. More, you have to cover three or two gold bases so like this. So, so that's the that's the point for today. So these are the two places, and also the one more the main streamway. I missed it. I showed these two small streamways, so that's why I'll go to the third stream. I'll continue the way on that way. All right, sure. Well, the grand CC camps over there. Oh, Okay, now I'm going towards the third passage. It's the toughest passage of all, it seems. I've seen in Google. We need to crawl a lot, it seems. It's so steep and narrow. Check out this stone ones, how smooth it is as well because of this water flow. Places and now this one Koti Linga. Let's go. So, this junction from this junction, we have to take left, right, we have to go for Mandiram. It's too hot here. I'm suggesting you, if you can't mess with this type of heat attention with your body, don't come here, don't come to this place. Hey, GoPro, na? Ah, yes, bro. I'm good. Yes. Thanks, thank you. Ah, le le YouTube channel. Huh? YouTube channel. Huh? YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Ah, na na pair count sir. Bro, na pair bro. S U S M I T H. S U S M I T H. Ah, okay. Borra ke sir. Jeevan Rock sir, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. Why sir? Sir, sir. Next plan, that's good. And actually, thank you. Wow. It's beautiful. Seriously, superb. Bro, hello, hello, bro, hello, 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 Look at the buttons. Best. Fishes are both in the best. Oh, yeah, scared. 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 This passage exit point is designed like the stop wall and bottom floor gets near at a point and there we'll find a small hole to enter. That's the stunt now. Head the stunt there. Decide well before you start because at some point you'll feel pressurized here because of your long critical body posture and with less oxygen. To be frank this is not a problem, we won't die right? But I'm talking about some people with phobia, the dark senses. This is the entrance hole for our third spot. Edge for this passage, third passage. So this 
is the way to grow again. मतलब महबूब नगर है ना हाँ महबूब नगर अरे हैदराबाद पार्क में मीरा ना ओह वैसा क्या ना ओके ओके सुपर आम आम स्मार्ट हाँ नाइस मेंट्स लेट्स गो अंकल वही पड़ा कल Okay, okay, yeah, uncle. I covered all of this, uncle. Three of them. So, this is the last spot, huh? This is the last place, uncle. This is the last place, huh? This is the last place, uncle. This is the last place, uncle. Five steps local, uncle. Five steps climb, 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 uncle. I hope you got a good view of this complete cave to the passengers. Here is a spa. I don't know this for AP tourism, AP TDC. Bye, caves. Even a small touch of this. Even this good. Small, even it's small, it's beautiful. White car. Okay, okay, thank you. Are you? Selfie. Nice Buddha statue, right? I'll give you a good near shot. Big, nice, uh, bit lotus edit in the bottom. I hope you had a positive mood while watching this video. If it is so, please give it a like and do subscribe. Thanks, thanks for watching. I'll come back with a new look next time. Until then, take care. Susmit signing off. Mundalam diur bro. Kota di sini apa tu? Okay. Thank you bro. Okay.